We are challenged on a day-to-day -day basis with finding efficiencies as we've talked about and having so many priorities of where to put our dollars towards. So for a municipality our size to wholly fund large projects like this is very, very difficult. When these opportunities come our way, those are our, our chances to have an environmental impact. Westlock has beautiful big recreation facilities. This is a lovely center for a town our size, but they come with big energy costs. We are always looking for energy efficiency within our facilities. The Rotary Spirit Center is not that old in terms of a building's life cycle, but when we looked at this project and the building, we felt that it made a lot of sense to spend the amount of money uh, to put a project like this in place where you would see the benefit in that. It usually boils down to finances. A project like this, you can do the math and, and it makes sense. But for our council, I think it boils down to financial sustainability more than anything. The town of Westlock would not have been able to do this project without the MCCAC funding. The value of the project is, is huge but the capital cost involved, if the town was to have pursued that on our own, um, it, it wouldn't have been financially feasible for the town to do so. So the funding really was the, the tip over the edge for us to be able to do the project. It was really what I would call a no-brainer. The annual savings make our payments. And as we learned on, in our first year of operation, uh, they make our payments plus a little. So once the capital and interest has been paid for, it's nothing but profit thereafter. So we can use that money to do other energy efficiency or just efficiency in general in our community. MCCAC was fantastic in their facilitation of the process for the town. This was new uh, and of course with a municipality of small capacity. Um, we don't have the technical expertise in our organization to put together a project like this. From the time that we were introduced to MCCAC, we're able to find a vendor and enter into a contract with them to start construction. It, it literally was, I'm going to say, within a span of six months. Sometimes people think when you're looking at alternate energy sources, that somehow means that you're anti-oil and gas and nothing could be further from the truth. I think everyone understands that we will need a petroleum industry for many years to come, but that doesn't mean you don't look for innovation and new alternate uh, energy sources. And so I would encourage any municipality who's interested in projects like that, come and talk to me, to our council, to our administration, and there are many other communities in the province that have benefited by these programs as well. So certainly, you know, ask lots of questions and, and don't be afraid to, to be innovative. <laughs>